Do the thing I want you to do. Okay, here we are. Hello. And welcome back to New Seattle Rifts. I'm ready. You all ready? Yep. <coughs> Last we left off, uh, Chris had shown up into, in the, um, <coughs> pardon me, all of a sudden I've got a, a, a creak in my throat. There's a troll in your throat? Creek. What's the name of a troll? Never mind. There's a troll named Creek? From what? Trolls. Oh. Creek. Troll. From Trolls? I've only saw them, yeah, I've only seen the movie 900 times. Oh, yeah, that Justin Timberlake song music movie. Mm -hmm. Right. It is a surprise, it's a good movie. Yeah, it's not bad. We watched it when you came over for Memorial Day or something. If I remember right. It was the first time I'd seen it. <coughs> Anywho. Um, my dog's in the run room over barking. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, Chris, Chris Kringle. <laughs> Chris Kringle showed up to the bar um, boisterously and loudly saying, Oh, you're happy to see you here after sort of messing with the uh, with the uh, dock workers at the bar for a moment. He grabs a very large pint of beer. Um, obviously, it's not a pint. It's quite bigger. Quite much bigger in a very frosted mug. He pulls, um, the bartender pours something very dark into it. Maybe Guinness? Maybe something else? And hands it to him as he comes over towards you. He grabs and drags a chair that scrapes on the ground slightly behind him. Turns it with a seat away from you and straddles it, staring at you as he sits down. <coughs> Pardon me. Ho oh, ho, so. Do you have any information for me? He stinks, reeks of fish. Seems that um, somebody's been subcontracting your elves hmm. to nasty work. My elves? Who? My elves stay on my ship. You're sad, man. The metaphorical kind. <laughs> he laughs a little and he says, okay. Who? Mr. Midas. Yeah, Viv just pushes the big ass folder. He looks down at it. He doesn't. He has his arms crossed over the tops of the uh, the chair. There, he looks down at it and he looks back up at it. You all. Who did you say? King Midas. Midas? Yeah, the king or Midas. Hmm. <coughs> I meant like a creek, like a C-R-E-A-K. <laughs> <laughs> um, he nods. What exactly is he doing, he says. Oh, he's taking hits. He's usually going to carry out hits on people. Lorelai goes back to the giant stake in front of her. Mm hmm. I can give you three descriptions mm -hmm. of some of these people. <laughs> Hold on. Orson has to die a little first. Right there. Mm -hmm. That was such a face. That was the best face. And I was hoping his screen would freeze. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was looking when it happened, but I got an instant replay on Mixer. It game. was good, right? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> 
Okay, I think I'm better. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. All of a sudden, um, apparently I had a little bit of cheese, and the cheese yeah. makes my my throat all funky. Apparently, so uh, yeah, uh, where were we at? <laughs> uh, Mr. Midas has three employees. We have description both mm. that may or may not be the individual we're looking for, but we don't know them. Well, regardless, yeah. he's able to carry out hits on yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take contracts and he contra take contracts that uh, kill people using he, your and using your special talents. He oh, grabs yeah. the file and he reaches in a flannel, like a pocket of his flannel shirt, and brings it out and pulls out bifocals, the ones that sort of uh, unwind and mm -hmm. pull behind your ears, you know. <laughs> and uh, he begins sort of holding open the file in front of him. Bits and pieces sort of fall out that you had in there, but he seems to pay it no mind as they fall onto the ground. And he listens to the descriptions of the three. There was... Come on, Viv, you oh, wrote these Oh, down, yes. Right? Um, I did, yes. Uh, one plump older guy smells like bacon. Um, woman, younger boxer look. And sleazy looking middle aged white guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the three. <laughs> he says, Well, <coughs> I can't. What's wrong with me? Every time I start talking. Um, do, you, do you need to go get some water or something? No, I think I'm okay. At least for a little bit. That's he... Santa voice. That's what it is. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, um, he he listens to all the descriptions as he's going through the file that you've created, and he nods and he says, "Excellent work." It's like, "Thank you." He closes the file, grabs the, <laughs> um, grabs the uh, the pieces off the ground, puts them into the file. Stands up and starts to walk away. But, uh, Mr. Kringle. Mm hmm. Chris, the problem is, is that whoever it was that carried out the one that we originally came to you about has something we desperately need. Cell phone. And we think that we think that cell phone is what got our friend in trouble in the first. Him killed. Well, I wasn't gonna say that. Shout that across the bar as he was standing <laughs> up and walking away. It's a stage mm -hmm. whisper. Stood up. <laughs> the music is still playing over the jukebox, and he stops and he turns and he looks towards you all and he says, <laughs> "What do you suggest?" Like, well, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go, go ahead. ahead. No, you go ahead. Lorelai, uh, I insist. Please go ahead. Well, can you help us get us the, get the phone back? Do you have any idea how we can get the phone back? I am going to figure out who these people are. All three of them. I'm going to find them, and I'm going to take care of them. I will look for a phone when I do so, but I make no guarantees. Yeah, see, what I said didn't help. Do you <clears throat> want to say something? Um, so you don't have individuals in mind with these descriptions? I mean, it smells like bacon. That's kind of unique. <laughs> He's like... You ever met a butcher? No. No. A lot of them smell like meat. I mean, bake, it doesn't say meat, it's bacon. <laughs> he he kind of laughs bacon. a little. And he says, I know who they are. You Each do? Each one. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like we deserve some names. Uh... So you're saying you want to take care of this for me yes 
Okay, okay, big guy. Uh... <coughs> I mean, it would put us in your good favor. <coughs> I'm, I'd I'm rather not be a, on your nice list. I'm not a murderer. Auto murder. Shush. Um. <laughs> Who says we were going to murder them? He just said, take, man, you go to dark places, Viz. That's what I thought, too! Not the dark places thing, but when somebody says I'm going to take care of it, you think yeah, you can that's... take care of it, okay? That is what they mean. I'm sorry, how are we going to take care of it for you? We would like to handle this in hopes of finding our property. Information. What would you like us? Do you want us to work them over? What would you he like he crosses us? his arms and he looks at you and he says, This, uh, <laughs> Mr. Midas. You can have him. No. <laughs> you can. Ooh, I like that idea. You take care of him. They have no one else to hire. Or he... They have no one else to work for. Yeah. We cut it off at the source. I don't care how you do it. You do that, I'll give you the names. <clears throat> Otherwise, I just take care of it myself. Guys, we can do this. If we... If we try... Is the person who's not taking care of shit. <clears throat> We can do this. We work together. If if we try and take down this guy who is in charge of multiple people who can just kill us in our sleep. Not if you, you can't have... pay them to do it. I mean, I, all I'm saying is there's some way to protect ourselves from this, from, from sand hitmen. I mean, if anybody knows, you have to know, right? Amon, you've been awfully quiet. What do you think? I think we need to take it out the source. If we just go after the three folks, he's just going to hire more people to kill us. See? Chris looks at you all and he says, I know who these three were. These three are. <laughs> and he kind of laughs. Freudian slip. Right. And he says... <laughs> That actually doesn't happen, but that's fine. <clears throat> no, please let it happen. Okay. All right, that's fair. I'll let it happen then. <clears throat> and he goes, ho, 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 after he says Freudian slip. And um, he uh, he smiles and he says, I know where they are. I will go collect them now. It might be more than those three. Well, we also have to figure out who put out this particular request in the first place as well. We're only getting that information Is there anything that you with your your clout Mr. Kringle have that we might be able to use to our advantage in the <coughs> meeting with him? <clears throat> he he kind of narrows his eyes and he says There are many people like us out there. Some of which band together. Form organizations. And he kind of shrugs. He says, seems he might be part of one as he's like looking through. I don't know which, I don't know what they do. But you don't buy up an entire quarter of a city without a little help. <clears throat> His connections may be able to be used against him. Babe, you and I can dig into this guy. We both have our ways of getting into places that hold secrets. <coughs> okay. You three do your thing and tell me when you need me.
So what are you doing? Chris says, Chris looks at you and he says, <laughs> yeah, and he's like, do we have an accord? Yes. <laughs> yes. He nods and he smiles and he says, whoa, <laughs> I have to get back to drinking. Much work to be done tomorrow. Ho, 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 ho. And he walks back <laughs> towards the bar. <clears throat> At this point, it's gotten maybe we're just going to call it like around nine o'clock now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the bar is filled in a little bit. And as you're there, you notice that the dock workers no longer look as they did. They look a bit different. They have a bit of a sort of scaly bluish tint to them. And you can see behind their ears, they have these like sort of gills that sort of pop out. <clears throat> Hmm. Interesting. Well, maybe we should sleep on it tonight and get a fresh start in the morning. It's been a long day. It has. Okay. Okay. Is everybody going back home? Yeah. I I'm am. going. To, I'm going to the shop. Okay. <clears throat> What's everybody else doing? Uh, I'm going to go back home for the night. Home. Okay. Viv goes to another bar closer to her house. Okay. Uh, is anybody liking want to accomplish anything tonight before we uh, fast forward to the next day? Uh, Lorelai is just going to start taking inventory, uh, continuing inventory on the the van. Okay. What needs to be repaired, replaced. Stuff like that. So when are you going to do a little bit more investigation into what you're going to do? Who, me? With Mr. Midas. Uh, oh, well, if we have time, yeah. Well, I mean, moving forward. Hmm. What's the plan, everybody? Um, well, I guess they're going to try to sneak into places. You're going to try and sneak in? I said that's what it sounded like they were going to do. That's that's my strong suit. Um, okay. We can talk about it and if you guys come up with somebody else. But he doesn't want to see your faces. He doesn't want to see Vivian's face. Did um in in my research did I like find like some so he owns a lot of different a lot of different places. Did I see like a home address or an address that looked like a center operation kind of thing. You did no. not. So I just know the places that he owns. Mm -hmm. You saw him yeah. at the club, though. The Juicy yeah. Twist. Yeah. There might be some information there. <clears throat> Can't you find anything on the internet? Which one are you talking to? <laughs> Either what? of you? Yeah. Yeah, stuff that he's trying to keep hidden, he's not going to keep out in public domain like that. And I've pulled all my strings. I didn't mean Google. I mean, you guys are good at computers for other reasons. My hands are quick, but not computer quick. It's not my, <coughs> not my speciality. Uh, I'm going to go looking uh, for the one uh, woman that keeps like opposing him mm -hmm. I'm gonna look her up Ikandi Awolo I don't yeah. wanna split up so let's no I'm looking her up on the oh internet. okay okay <laughs> yeah, I mean you find a um, a public um, Facebook page okay and you can see that she she lives somewhere up there she seems to live in the northern part of the city um, you can see she's part of a number of like rights and civil rights groups and things of that nature. <clears throat> yeah, and she mostly posts um like political stuff and um you know uh things of that nature. I'll send her a, a message engaging her interest in um, talking about. 
the evil deeds of the man they call the king or whatever, King Midas. The king, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or king. Yeah, and it comes up on Messenger. You get something back, and it says, Mr. Midas, question mark. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and we can see, like, the little Facebook screen sort of pop up at this point. <clears throat> <clears throat> and she puts up an ellipsis, so three dots. And we we kind of fade in on this apartment. <clears throat> it looks sort of industrial. There's a long, like a big sort of um, pane glass window next to her. And you can see some of those like neon lights um, from the city that you're, seems so familiar. It's almost as if like a car drives by. And mm -hmm. we see her sort of sitting down in this comfy looking chair. Sorry, couch. It's all white. Um, and she has a, uh, a cat in her lap, a black cat, uh, that she's sort of petting. Um, and she has her phone out in front of her. The glow sort of, like, uh, illuminates her, her face a little bit. And you can see she sort of, like, not scratches at her beard, but she kind of, like, scratches at the side of her cheek a little bit as she thinks about mm -hmm. it. And she looks down and she says, Whiskers, what do you think? She smiles, and Whiskers sort of like meow, gives a little bit of a meow, and then she's you get that message, um, <clears throat> Amon that says, "You meow. want to meet?" Question mark. Yes. Okay. She says, "Where?" Somewhere you feel comfortable. She says, "Okay." Coffee shop. Black and brew. On the corner of 108 and Cedar. What time? Noon. Okay. She's I'll like, she says, I will be on lunch then. It's like, you'll, uh, um, and I'll, uh, I'll say I'll be the one with. I guess the weird-looking antique lamp so that she knows who I am. <coughs> okay. And she says, okay. See you then. And I'll text everybody and say anybody that can uh, make it. I am meeting with blah, blah, whatever her name is at a coffee shop at noon. <clears throat> yeah. The replies, I'll be there. Akanda Awolo. Ikandi? Yeah. Kandi. Ikandi Awolo. Kandi Awolo. Um, and if I have time, I want I want to see if I can find um the addresses for the people that were connected to him so the the lawyer the other gentleman mm -hmm. that was mentioned i'm not gonna give you all to you but you do find them <clears throat> okay. so if it comes up and we want to go looking into them you may because i think finding the organization might be a mm -hmm. good a good step okay all right so um I guess we can fast forward now, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> but before we do, um, we see her once again, and she kind of she goes up to um, a table, and um, on the table you see like a large uh, a number of like empty wine bottles and another one that she kind of starts to pour in a glass, and the cat sort of jumps up, and you can see that it has these sort of bright orange eyes, <clears throat> and she looks down at it, and she says. Oh, Whiskers, what do you think? Very sudden. And the cat meows at her again. Do we wish to go down this path? She kind of shrugs. Maybe we do. And the cat sort of like purrs and like pushes up against her. She takes a sip of her wine and then we fade away. <clears throat> um, next time we catch up... <clears throat> pardon me... <clears throat> it's the next day and you can see the building the outside of this um, uh, black and brew 
coffee shop. <clears throat> and um, it's got like a, a black coffee cup on the outside. And then you can see like there's just like um, the black liquid pouring into it. And it sort of all comes together. <clears throat> It says blackened brew brew on the outside. There are a couple small tables um, outside, though no one's sitting at them. Um, you can smell that strong hint of coffee coming from the uh, the building. Who all is going? I'm going. Yeah. Okay, so everybody's going. Yep. No, more life. Sorry, I heard nothing. I was attacked by a toddler. Okay. We are at the coffee shop. Are you going? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. So, um, <clears throat> you arrive at the outside of the, the building. The four of you. Okay. How are you getting there? I'm skating up to it. Okay. I assume it's not near my shop. No, it's up on the north side. Can I just... Can we... Okay, so I just want to know what we're telling her. If we're going up and telling her, you know, about the same, whether we should come up with a pretense. So Honestly, let's do just... a little bit of a flashback, right? And we see you all sort of coming together as you, you, you all turn and you all look at each other for a moment as you're arriving at the coffee shop. <clears throat> And we can see that sort of nod of agreement, maybe, from you all. And we flash back to a scene, maybe when you're all going home. Right before you leave. And Vivian stops everybody, and... Well, you're not doing any of the talking. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with that. I just I just want to know, you know, what are we uh, going to say? I mean, it's kind I'm of... I'm trying to get more information out of her than sharing information with her. So um, I'm I, I going... don't know how trusting she's gonna be. She's gone after this guy a lot. Yeah. So I mean, if we tell her that, you we're know, looking to... we're looking into trying to take him down, then sh I think she'll be very receptive and give us what we want. Yeah. Tell her we're not looking for any physical help. We're just looking for any information she'd be willing. Okay. To get. Okay. I was thinking honestly, I think I think this story is pretty newsworthy. I think her and a profile of her and a profile of him and this mysterious figure is yeah. my fingers are itching. Um that might be something we could sweeten the deal with. If she seems reluctant, you can throw that in. Okay. You know, I mean if she seems reluctant to talk, say, look, I'm, I'm a journalist. I want to tear this guy apart in the papers. And if she says that she knows something, that he has some kind of magical ability or, you know, I, I just want to know what cards we're keeping. Um, I mean, I wasn't going to offer any cards. Okay. Why well, don't we okay. just let him on do the talk? Sounds great. I'm down with that too. All right. Is that the plan? Don't mind. You want to see what you can get out of her? That's what I was going to do. Okay. Sorry. Right. So you arrive. <laughs> I pick um, a table near the front. <clears throat> yeah, so you go inside order a coffee and sit down and have the the lamp in front of me and just kind of chill mm -hmm. out and Is i tell you guys to like sit at another table because i did not tell her that i was going to be bringing people and you might spook her i'm going up to a counter getting a cinnamon roll and a iced coffee okay well, like i'm covered in car grease at this point so i'm i'm i will take my vw bug book to the back of the to the back of the shop with my coffee. Vivian, I'm as close as I can be at another table, but facing away. Okay, that's fair. Um, yeah, <clears throat> and eventually you see uh, Ikandi uh, arrive, and she has her her hair in the dreadlocks, sort of wound up behind her and up above her. 
<clears throat> in her above her head, similar to like a beehive sort of style. And mm -hmm. um, she's wearing this sort of vibrant looking clothing, a long dress that sort of uh, comes down and hangs loosely over her. <clears throat> Pardon me. Gosh, what's wrong with me? What's that okay. noise? Uh, that's probably me itching my ears. Sorry. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, where did that come from? <clears throat> yeah, and so she's there, and she comes in, and she looks around, and you could see her sort of looking. She's sort of short and a little squat, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she says, oh, well, there you are. And she comes up to you, Amon, and taps you on the shoulder. I kind of stand and, like, go to shake her hand. Oh, we don't do that here. And she kind of brings out her arms. Yeah, kind of wide and kind of okay, okay. Come here. I'll give her a nice hug. Yeah, and you kind of tower over her. She's probably all of maybe five feet tall, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you, she brings you in and she gives you a very heavy sort of hug. And she looks over and she says, "Melissa, my regular, please." And she sits down and kind of like hops up on the stool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she says, "So you want to talk about the man, huh?" Yeah, um, I'm part of a, a group that uh, recently ran into him and uh, didn't find it very pleasing. Hmm. In what way? <laughs> she smiles. Just uh, didn't like the interaction and uh, he's kind of rubbed some some people the wrong way and they kind of asked us to to kind of look into them and uh, maybe try to find some other people with some distaste for him. <laughs> you won't have to look far, I tell you that. The man, he is a rat. What other uh, run-ins have you had with him? Just what he does, nothing I can prove. I just know that he can't possibly be buying all this up himself. He has no money. He's a pawn, a stooge. Somebody else is I... giving him the money to buy everything. He must be part of the mob or something else. I mean, do you. Is there other stuff that you've seen or heard of that you can't prove that you want to share? Maybe we could find the proof, since we're looking into him now. She nods, and she says nothing yet, because you're going to make a roll. All right. Make a convince. Uh, I'm switching over to you, Amon. Um, she's chatted a little bit, but I don't think we're quite there yet. Nope. You know what I mean? So, um, I think not a whole awful lot, right? Nope. Not really. Yeah, Probably unless... Just, just Go ahead. Straight roll. It looks just like a straight roll to me. Right. Okay, go ahead. Uh, double four, so that would be an eight. <clears throat> yeah, and she nods and she says, Sure. But it's been a while since anybody's come and asked me anything about this man. Who's looking into him? Um, just me and my friends were, um, he, uh, he's done some, some things that we can't prove either. So we're trying to find some things that we can prove. And she kind of leans in close to you. She says... I'll show you mine if you show me yours. She winks. <laughs> this is a give and take, friend. You have new information on him? Obviously, you're looking into it. I want to take yeah, him down. One of us is is a, a member of the press. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And recently uncovered some things that you know, some nefarious details, probably some of the same stuff that you uncovered and just wants to shine some light on it, but we like to have a little bit more background on it first. Right. She says, so you have no new information? Hmm. All we know is that 
kind of what you've told me so far is that he's definitely bankrolled by other people. He is. And um, the company that he keeps is not the cleanest. She nods. She says, For quite a while, the northern part of the city, it was run down, but it was home. She says, When <coughs> Mr. Midas moved into town, all of a sudden he started buying everything up. And here, which isn't so odd, it's a up-and-coming city, yes, and it might make sense to buy up everything and sell it all off at a higher price later, maybe, I don't know. I'm not much of a businesswoman. However, we protested against him, buying up and selling off the uh, homeless shelter, turning it into a basketball court. That only he uses. It's got the lock and key. She shakes her head. Right? Some of us didn't make it. My partner, he was murdered. Yet there was no evidence of a break in anything. Just murdered. What was your uh, partner's name? Yeah. And she says uh, his name was Edward Richards. Okay. Also a lawyer. She kind of smiles. Then Mr. Lee, he refused to sell his apartment building. Also murdered. But no signs of entrance, no... Signs of what killed him other than a bullet to the head. Seemingly out of nowhere. Others, the same story over and over and over again. Every single one of them, people that stood up against him. Do we hear this conversation? in our positions around the cafe? Uh, I would say Vivian is probably the only one that hears it. Okay. As she is the closest one. What was the name of the troll again? The electronics troll that died? Dom. Dom. Oh. Do we know his last name? I might have I mean... given it, but I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> I asked her if she's ever heard of Dom. She she kind of thinks about it for a minute and she shakes her head and says no. So there's some similarities between him and your friends. Hmm. Interesting. How so? They met the same kind of fate. See? And she winks at you. Give and take. And she kind of slaps you on the shoulder. So that is new information, more than just these people, others. It's very important that we find out as much information as we can. And since we have seen that you've been fighting the fight for so long... And losing... Fighting and losing still has its merits. Mm -hmm. Still has its advantages. You've been up close, I'm sure, in court several times against him. You know what happens. You know his tics. You know mm -hmm. probably some of his mannerisms and how he operates. Right. And that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. She says he's rigid and angry and values money over anything else. <clears throat> he will act out, sometimes violently, against those that even have a air or a hint of possibly being superior to him. <clears throat> he hates me. Mm. Endlessly.
I'm surprised he hasn't tried to do it to me. Is there some reason, do you think? She Is shrugs. Something, something special? I don't know. Maybe he can't, and she winks. I think he would have the have a hard time doing it to a couple of people. <laughs> Why is that? <clears throat> I think especially it's harder to just make things go away when they're more in the public eye. And perhaps that is you're losing battles that you've been fighting since they have been in the public eye have actually saved you. He no she nods and meh. Maybe. <clears throat> and um, she says, Unfortunately, other than that, I don't really know what else to tell you. I know that he spends most of his time at the Juice and Twist. I know that he has a bodyguard who apparently has no name and doesn't really talk. Looks like a sailor to me. You know, do you have the names of all of his contacts from all of your dealings, like his lawyers and all of that stuff? Yeah, and she says, I can get you that information. I'll, I'll email it to you. Would you uh, share with me your email, please? Yeah, I'll give her my email. Mm -hmm. And I'll I'll even, I'll give her, like, my work email the with the, like, makeawish.org at the end of it or whatever. Ah, a wish maker. She kind of winks. She says a little on the nose, and she points to your uh, your lamp. <laughs> it's uh, an old antique. <laughs> she says, I imagine. Well, Mr. And she looks at the card, Amon. <clears throat> Is there anything else I can do for you today? No, we'll try to keep you in the loop, and I might contact you further for any more information she nods and she says uh, there is maybe one more thing you should look into <clears throat> What's I that? haven't I haven't been able to prove it yet but I feel like there is a connection between the people uh, the companies that seem to back him there has to be something there just hmm. can't put my finger on it yet Yeah, we'll take a look at that as well. She knows. What have you have you tried any avenues to try to connect them that has come she out? She says fail? they all seem like upstanding business owners to me. <clears throat> business owners and people that just seem to want to support different projects and such. Are they all in the same area of town? Are they all on the north side? No, they are scattered about. All right, well, we'll look into that as well. It is, uh, and like I said, we'll keep you in the loop. You've been fighting this fight for a long time, and I don't see any reason to... Uh, I imagine that when, once we are able to make something stick that you definitely want to know about it. She smiles, and she says, hey, of course, I would love to know. Thank you for, for everything, and I'll kind of, like, stand up and mm -hmm. kind of, like, put out my arms for another hug because I know she's not going to shake my hand. <laughs> and she laughs, and she gets up, and she kind of waddles towards you and gives you a bit of a hug mm -hmm. before quickly sort of sitting back down to her coffee. Okay. And I will, uh, like, collect my my lamp and my my whatever I was drinking and kind of walk towards the door. Yep. And, and she says, out. as you're going away, she's like, is your friend coming with you? She points back behind her. Nah, she's probably going to stick around and check you out and see if you, like, go back and make a phone call and we're really, like, a double mm -hmm. agent. Her back is, like, anyway. <laughs> her back is to you, <laughs> Vivian. And she kind of, like, leans back towards you. And she says, do you have any questions? <laughs> it's very much, uh, very much a surprise. Not right now. 
Thanks. She's like, I am, an, see... I am an open book. Uh, and you can, like, see over her shoulder, and she's been writing notes of everything that they've been mm -hmm. saying on her laptop and, like, sending it to the group mm -hmm. <laughs> as it's been happening. And um, so when you're leaving, right, she stays. Do you wait for her? What do you do? Who, me? Yeah. Um... No, Viv is gonna get up and she's actually gonna motion to the other two too. Yeah, and does everybody else sort of leave with her or what? Um, well, she's gonna make it obvious that I'm sitting. There. I'm gonna pick up my my coffee. I'm actually gonna down it. I'm gonna order and sit there and order another one, clutching my book. Okay. I chuckle and leave. Mm -hmm. And as you two are heading out. She kind of yells back towards you, um, Vivian, and she says, It's two eyes, dear. Oh. Ikandi. Thanks. Two eyes. And she makes a note of it. Mm hmm. Yep, Viv, come on. I'll, I'll be in touch with you. She says, Have a good day. You too. And, um, Lorelai, do you stick around much longer or what? Well, I'm waiting for them to make my coffee, which will take about, like... <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't take I long. Rode here on my, I rode here on my bike, mm -hmm. so it's not like I gotta wait for anybody. Right. And she doesn't say anything to you or anything while you're, while, before you leave, right? So, um, we kind of fade away from the, uh, um... the the coffee store after Lorelai the door closes you hear the little jingle of the bell right and we're, we actually come back inside and then jumping up on the table we see that black cat with the like orange eyes in front of her again and it fades away and everything just kind of seems to go a little bit dark around her and we can see it's just like almost as if everything is sort of uh, illuminated by candlelight. And she looks down at the cat and she says, hmm, interesting group, don't you think they're whiskers? And the cat sort of meows in her face and sort of starts to rub up against her as she sips away at her coffee. And that's where we're going to end it tonight. Yay! Yay. Um... The credits begin to roll, and we see, you know, the familiar New Seattle Riffs episode, what was this, nine, right? Uh, uh, seven. Seven. Seven? Episode seven, right? And we see, you know, uh, Lorelei, Crimson Pleasure, and so on and so forth. And uh, so, <laughs> let's uh, let's the do our usual. Meow. <laughs> Could <Literally>. be. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about that. Uh, that name afterwards that could be a uh, an episode name we shall see but first let's start where we normally do i'm gonna switch over to everybody and i've been on amon this entire time because you know why not uh i get distracted <laughs> and it's like i get into it and then all of a sudden i forget things so anyway <coughs> beside the point um, the credits begin to roll. So, we don't have any burnt power tags or anything like that, right? Nope. You don't feel like you have any of your... Uh, um, sorry, Eddie. Eddie doesn't right. feel like he has any of his like mythos or logos that are under stress, right? We're not right now. No, I think I'm balancing them pretty okay. good. So then who had the, the most positive or negative effect on you today? Um... I'm a little foggy right now, so it's kind of hard to say. <laughs> okay. Why don't we because of my current things. condition. Yeah. Why don't we suggest things for the drugged up old man? Yes, thank you, please. Anybody? Um. Nothing standing out, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the entire four hours. Um, I mean, you don't have to take one. No, no. Um, nothing's 
coming to mind. I don't um, really, I don't really see anything. I don't remember anything either. No, I mean, well, I maybe think, like um, a, the only thing I can think of is like a mon actually called and checked up on you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I see some headway. Yeah, along those lines, but I don't know if it's enough to warrant a help. You, this you, you also. It was very obvious to you to this time that Amon is very afraid of your phone. Yeah, he straight out said it made him sick. Yeah. So, so maybe that's actually like a hurt towards Amon. You know what I mean? The reasoning is is that like, do you? Well, how does that make you feel? Right. That was the most meaningful interaction, right? Yeah. Today, how does that yeah. make you feel? As a person that has to interact with him, right? How does that make Eddie feel? It makes him sick. He was visibly shaken by it. He, he's like, makes uh, it, he says it makes him want to throw up. I kind of like it. The power trip was. Okay. <laughs> so that's not necessarily a positive thing, though, right? No. No. I think that's no. kind of a bit of a negative thing. You feel like you might have a little power over him. Yeah, I kind of think it's kind of cool. Okay. But, uh, but I also, I like it that he's being honest about it. Okay, so which do you think? Because um, if you go with the power trip thing, I think that's more of like you would mark a hurt on him. Yeah. I like that he's being honest and starting to... So you're going you're gonna to start with the honesty start. part? Yeah. Okay. So mark a help for him. Yeah. My mad offhand skills with the mouse. Yeah. All right, Velaz, Mister Aman. Most uh, meaningful, meaningful interaction. I don't have any because I don't have any spots left. You don't have helps. I don't have any spots. I have five. I have four hurts and one help, and they're <laughs> all filled in. So okay. I have nothing. I can't put anything. I in. didn't know. You, I didn't know you had a maximum. Yeah, I thought it was just like a plus plus three something. Yeah, you only work with three other people. Oh well, I thought I had like I thought you had to put one in each line or whatever. No, I, I think stack so. them up. Uh, and you just keep yeah. a record of each yeah, other no, person I, in the crew. That's how mine look. Shit. Yeah, I just yeah. got three lines. And yeah, I I'm pretty sure that's three that's three how it works. Okay. I'm on, I'm not like a hundred percent sure to be honest. But I'm fairly certain. The list says crew, so each line is supposed to be a person. Yeah. So they can I have think. however many help and hurts. That's, yeah, that's why. I right. <clears throat> well, I don't have any. So. Okay. Yeah, not I even when think... I apologize to you? Damn. Nope. You just Fair. don't like anybody. Fair nope. enough. Fair enough. No, I just don't think that, I mean, that was your way of apologizing, but he really didn't even see it as an apology, to be honest. Like, maybe that's a hurt, though. Maybe it's like. But it didn't really phase him either way. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not. It wasn't a bad interaction. It wasn't a that's good true. interaction. I mean, if you feel like you don't have it either way, then that's fine. You yeah, don't have to like do anything. Her, like her just handing him a business card, with like a business contact, and not actually saying like, "Hey, I'm sorry." Like, she li you... I literally said, this is my way of apologizing. That's what and... you said, but she didn't say that. You said, this is her way of apologizing. And hands her no, I said, card. this is my way of apologizing, and I handed you, Lorelai handed you a card. This is my way That's of apologizing. That's not how it came across to me. It came across like you were saying, like, this is Lorelai's way of apologizing, and she hands him a business card. Well, that's not what it was. In but never mind. Okay. I'm... Being that that was the case, or that was at least the intention. I'm just going to keep it, like, okay. nothing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we'll go, we'll move on to Lorelai, then. I was going to say it was Amon checking up on me, but fuck Amon. <laughs> fair enough. Got that lamp shoved up his... Oh yeah, he about to get the shit lamp shoved up his ass. <laughs> I got a help from I got a help from Lenny. <clears throat> nope. You can't um, get help from NPCs. Watch me. No. Um... <laughs> I 
No, it actually did mean a lot hurt to her that Amon checked up. So even though he's a jackass. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He's telling me how to play my character. Yep. I'm telling you to stop being a jackass. Oh my gosh. All right, so you're going to mark a help on Amon? Yep. yep. Okay. Vivian, dear. I am... Uh... So I'm also thinking a help for Amon because I think Vivian recognizes that really the rest of us were all kind of loners, like a little bit antisocial, a little bit lone wolves, and and that Amon is kind of integral to the mm -hmm. stability of the group, mm -hmm. and that really if he wasn't there to like pull people together, that you know we would kind of all probably drift apart and try to do things on our own and get killed. So that's what I was thinking. Just okay. hey, hey, cool. It's basically so him kind of coming forward and being like, "Let's yeah. work together." He yeah. is. Yeah. The, he is the glue. He is almost like a leader, except that's, for he hates all of us. That's fair. And yeah. except we don't have a leader, guys. <laughs> you don't. For that. If he was a leader, they would not be as happy. <laughs> it's true. So now we have to name the episode. What do we think? Suggestions? I wrote down the Kringle Accord. That's what I, wrote. <laughs> I like that. Actually. That's kind of fun. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that. What did you say, Margo? Did you say something? I'm sorry, Crimson. <laughs> I said Amon's a jerk. You <laughs> named the episode Amon's a jerk. Mm. The cats came out that was. <laughs> yeah, that was my, my suggestion. Cats. What does the fox say? Cow. No! Hotty, no. hotty, hotty ho! No foxes were hurt in the filming of this episode. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they lose an MC though. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, the Kringle Accord's not bad. Yep. Wicked, Wicked's getting punched. I'm the one that's saying it. She started it. I had my nephew singing that. I do. I like the Kringle Accord. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a really good title. It's a strong title. Ho, 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 Kringle Accord. Where Are we in at? agreement? Yeah. Where are my hoes at? Okay, cool. <laughs> Maybe eventually. Yeah, no, I like the name. Yeah, it's a good one. All right, so why don't we go ahead and we will do our goodbyes. Uh, Vinny the Troll, you got anything for us? Um, I'm trying to heal. Yeah, we hope <laughs> you feel better. It. That's about it. Okay, Velas? Nothing? Nope, I'm good. Okay. Uh, Avenue? Uh, nothing really. See you guys on Saturday for Lost. I guess that's it. <laughs> yeah, Saturday. Uh, me, my turn. We'll do Crimson last because she does announcements and stuff. My turn now, right? Anything else, Avenue? No? Okay. Um, I'm streaming on my own channel. Orson Fells on Mixer. Orson underscore Fells on Twitch. Um, we did a book reading, but we're done with that. So now I'm playing some Throne Breaker and some... Uh, Path of Exile, and it's gonna be awesome. And on Wednesday, which is Halloween, I'm gonna be playing Darkwood, and I'm excited about that. Cool. Uh, other than that, not a whole awful lot going on. I stream during the afternoons a lot, and then at nights whenever I can. So I will be on tomorrow morning Tomorrow afternoon, I should say, 12 to 4, and then again from 8 to noon. And we'll be playing Thronebreaker. Saturday, we are going to be playing some Lost, which I'm also in. Many of us, all of us are in except for Vinny. Uh, Veloz, right this way, I think, um, is the one that runs it. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then the week after that, I will be running uh, the Alabaster Force, which is another D&D &D adventure. So yeah. That's all I got. 
Crimson. All right. So make sure you join us tomorrow on uh, Twitch uh, for Fluffy the Necromancer. Tuesday is Twitch. Iris the Keyblade Master. Wednesday, uh, Kinky and Ashley Overboard may be back. Uh, I'm ready to stream from TwitchCon. That's earlier in the day on Twitch. Uh, and then later in the evening, you've got Fluffy the Necromancer on Twitch and Salty the Helian. Salty Helian on uh, Mixer. And then Thursday, you're back with me. Uh, uh, probably playing more Halloween Creativeverse. And Friday is back to Vonry. Uh, Saturday... As he said, we have Lost, and remember, you can purchase a Lost shirt in our merchandise shop, which is available in both streams if you scroll down below. Personally, I will be doing, uh, I will not be doing Seven Days Die tomorrow. I will be doing probably Vampire tomorrow during the day. Um, I will not be streaming Wednesday night, because it is Halloween. I will be streaming Wednesday during the day. I will be playing... Dead by Daylight, yes, featuring Vel, who will be happy to bring back the dad joke killer, which everybody is so excited for. <laughs> and I am dreading a little bit. Um, it's going to be okay. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And then Friday, we'll be doing Seven Days to Die. Um, don't you eat I'm the not priest eat the, <laughs> I'm not going to eat the priest without you. I don't think we're going to get that far. Um, and then Friday, I'll be doing Seven Days to Die with uh, with JT. It's JT and uh, as Cadelia. Um, so that'll be fun times. Remember, you can support us on Patreon. We have a lot of Patreon changes coming at the beginning of the year. We have um, YouTube videos on YouTube, along with uh, previous episodes of our shows. Um, we have uh, a, a website full of articles. We actually have officially passed 365 articles published on the website. That's very exciting. Um, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook and all of that fun stuff. And uh, you are awesome, and we love you. All right, that's it. That's Y'all, we're going to see you next Sunday, definitely, at 7 p.m., mm -hmm. For some more new Seattle riffs, uh, I made a boo-boo. Right after Lady Joe. Um, you made a boo-boo. Yeah, I made a boo-boo. I forgot to uh, put up the last episode of New Seattle Riffs, the third part. So I'm going to put that up tomorrow, along with other stuff. So I apologize. I forgot. Y'all have a great night. Bye. I do apologize. Great outro. Outro.